What's up my young whippersnappers? Tonight, I'm gonna take you on a ride. Let's go back in time about nine years and take a look at Apple's original iPhone on its original firmware and compare it to the latest iOS 10. So can you believe it? The iPhone turned nine years old just the other day. And we are calling it iPhone. It has been quite the ride, guys. And I just thought, hey, let's be nostalgic today. I'm almost at 2 million. Apple just reached nine years with their iPhone. Let's do something a little interesting. So for over a day, I toiled in excruciating pain trying to downgrade an iPhone 2G back to its original 1.0 firmware. Oh my God. Wow. Holy crap. It freaking worked and I achieved that goal so I want to show you guys what life was like nine years ago when smartphones were just a thing so um iOS 1.0 on the original iPhone 2G. So it's not easy to install this. First off, you have to have a specific iPhone that was built in a specific year. I have several, so I got lucky. It took forever, so many attempts, so many tries, so many tears, but here I am with iOS 1.0 and I wanna compare it. But a little history lesson for you, you know, just cause I'm feeling nostalgic here. I first heard about the iPhone 2G when I was in middle school, I was in sixth grade, I was on the bus and a kid was telling me about some crazy new phone that you could interact with, that you could touch the display with and all these cool games with the accelerometer and stuff. But that was later on, of course, with the games and all this crazy tech about it. And I just simply, you know, it blew my mind. I couldn't even imagine what this phone was. My first first iPhone was a 3G. I traded an Xbox 364, so I never even got to experience it. So here I am going back in time to take a look at it again. And of course, here is iOS 10 on the right, 1.0 to 10.0. So let's just take a look at this just because I am so crazy excited to have this running on my iPhone, 1.0 and 10.0. Now it's not 10 years apart, only nine years apart, but here we are. So what can the iPhone 2G do that the iPhone 6S and iOS 10 can't? Well, first off, let's begin with sliding to unlock. I mean, who needs a fancy click to unlock when we have that on our iPhone 2G? Um, hmm. A stylish calculator that's rounded instead of a boxy squared off one, and it even has a blue background. How cool is that? So this guy has weather. The iPhone has weather widgets now. Hmm, really cool. Back before it was cool, the iPhone 2G didn't even have an app store. I mean, who needs apps? Just the ones that Apple puts on them is all you need. I mean, who needs to rearrange apps? You cannot even enter the wiggle mode to move them around. Who needs screenshots? You can't screenshot your device. All it does is turns your display off if you attempt that. I mean, really, who needs that kind of stuff? It's all fluff anyways. Uh, control center. No control center, and no notification center. There is no extra way to interact with your device. The double click doesn't even open the phone app, doesn't open multitasking, doesn't do anything. I mean, how did people survive with this thing back in the day? But the cool thing is the SMS app actually labels it so you know you're not accidentally clicking on another app. Oh. This is the SMS messaging app. Okay, cool, cool. So uh, what else? Uh, back when the camera application had no settings in it whatsoever, it just took a picture and showed you them. That's all. I mean, what more do you need? It's the cleanest experience. And it did also have YouTube pre-installed, which is cool. Back when it had Google Maps instead of the crap fest today that we call Apple Maps. Back when, you know, pages weren't a thing, you couldn't swipe to spotlight search or pages. It just, you know, stayed. But the one area I've noticed that the iPhone 2G excels with iOS 1.0 over uh, iOS 10 is the fact that when you actually change volume or you're disabling your vibration, it doesn't cover your content. You can actually see through it. If I were able to slide my background, I'd show you, but it doesn't completely obscure it. So. I mean, that's one reason you should go for iOS 1.1 over iOS 10. Take a look at this. When you do it on here, it just blurs everything in the background so you can't see anything. I mean, come on, what a downgrade that is. And back when settings wasn't a cluttered mess with all these crazy new fancy features, I mean, it was simple. In general, you just had one page instead of this scrolling, you know, gigantic option page of a ton of other options. So it was very simple. I mean, very streamlined. There was really nothing extra because it just wasn't thought of at the time. 
I mean, wow, guys, this is such a throwback for me. Now, my first operating system was iOS 3, so I never really got experience of this, but I mean, we didn't even have some of the most basic apps like the App Store that's considered the norm nowadays. I mean, the iTunes Store didn't even exist. It was, it was crazy how simple it was. And I just thought it'd be interesting to make this video to show you guys that, man, iOS 1.0. I never thought I'd actually be able to install it, but man i mean can you believe the process it was like i had to downgrade to 3.0 then from there to 1.1.4 flash the baseband or erase it then downgrade to 1.0 and uh, it actually got stuck in recovery mode so i had to boot it out of that and i had to run a virtual machine with windows xp i had to i had to download windows xp guys come on i went through quite the battle so uh there it is guys ios 1.0 there's really not much to show you but even the most basic things that we got used to, you know, it doesn't work anymore. But this actually has quite an interesting version of 3D Touch. So on iOS 10, when you 3D Touch, you know, you get a cool little menu. But on iOS 1.0, when you 3D Touch, you get a cool effect with your screen. I mean, it kind of starts waving. So uh, it's kind of interesting. See that? It's like wavy effect. I guess Apple had implemented the software side of it yet. But cool. Anyways, guys, there it is. iOS 1.0 on my iPhone 2G. I do hope you guys enjoyed this video. Kind of unique. Wanted to show you guys this, but I'm going to make a video tomorrow for my 2 million subscribers. I just want to say thank you to you guys again and again, and I have a lot to talk about. So uh, I'll meet you guys tomorrow for that video. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you have any special requests for a video, leave them down below too. I, I like to hear that from you guys too. Anyways, thanks so much. Peace.